The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to find statutes in Bloomberg Law. We will focus on finding statutes using the Go Bar, the Home Page, Search and Browse, Practice Centers, Litigation and Dockets, and Legislative and Regulatory. Let's first look at the Go Bar. You can find statutes using the Go Bar by citation. To find by citation, you would enter in your citation, click on Citation Search, and your statute will appear. Now let's look at accessing statutes via the Home tab. When you are on the Bloomberg Law Home tab, you can access statutes by clicking on Statutes and Regulations in the Getting Started box. From there you can choose between the Federal Code or you can select one of the state statutory codes. When you click on a code, in this instance let's try U.S. Code, you will enter the Table of Contents. Depending on the code you access, you will be able to search for terms in the Tables of Contents and the Section Titles, search the title or section, or you will be able to browse the Table of Contents. Using Search and Browse, you can search for statutes by clicking on Legislative. This will bring you to the Legislative Search screen where you can select your source if you know the title, such as U.S. Code, or you can browse for your source in the directory below. To search the U.S. Code, you would click on United States Code. You could also browse the Table of Contents by clicking on Browse TOC. If you wanted to search state statutes, such as Georgia, you would click on the plus sign beside State Legislative, then State Codified Statutes and Constitutions, then you would click on Georgia, and finally Georgia Code. You could then enter keywords and select a specific or range of dates to search. Let's try searching for statutes on adverse possession. We'd enter in our terms, select our date range, click search, and a list of results will appear. From there you could limit your results by editing your keywords or selecting a specific date or range of dates. Using practice centers, you would first need to choose a topic. Let's try bankruptcy. From there you would look at the resources box and select federal laws and rules. Now you can access the bankruptcy code in the U.S. Code or access other bankruptcy provisions. Using litigation and dockets, you would click on litigation resources. Now if you look under Constitution, Statutes, and Regulations, you will see links for the U.S. Code and state laws and regulations. If you click on U.S. Code, it will take you into the table of contents for the U.S. Code. The state laws and regulations link will take you to a map of the United States. To access statutes for your state, you would click on the state, and then you would have the option to either search or browse the statutory code. You can also use legislative and regulatory to access statutes. If you use search legislative, then you will arrive at the same legislative search screen that we have previously used. U.S. Code will take you into the table of contents for the U.S. Code. State legislative materials will return you to the state laws and regulations map where you can select a state and then search or browse its statutory code. Let's try clicking on legislative resources. Legislative resources is another way to access the U.S. Code table of contents or the state laws and regulations map. You can also find other legislative materials and documents along with news on congressional activity. Now that we know how to find a statute, let's explore what one looks like in Bloomberg Law. At the top of the page you will find the Sections functions, which allow you to flip to the previous or next section of the code. Following the Sections function, you can access the Table of Contents of the U.S. Code and see what title, part, and chapter the statutory section is in. Next you will find the citation and the section name. Finally, you will arrive at the statutory text. Following the text of the statute, you will find history information on the statute. History covers when the statute was passed and amended, along with references to the public law and statutes at large citations for those amendments. In some instances, you may also find references to other sections of the code. 
At the very bottom of the statue you will find currency. If you click on the eye beside currency, a pop-up will provide you with information on how current the statute is in Bloomberg Law. That is it for your overview of statutes in Bloomberg Law.